So learning Mari is the, one of the best decisions you can make nowadays. It is becoming one of the key software packages in most of the studios, uh, but it's extremely easy to learn. Uh, it's actually very rewarding because it's, it's fun to use. There's immediate feedback to it. I think having a non-commercial version of Mari is an extremely, extremely valid idea. Practical learning in our, in our craft, in our industry, is, is essential. So allowing people to be able to easily put their hands on the software, get access to training material, tutorials, and just go and produce is, I think, the best way of you know, teaching it. Another benefit of having non-commercial version, sometimes in production you don't always have the chance to pick up that stuff during the day. If they can go home, they can continue to refine their skills and refine their knowledge of Mari, parallel to whatever they, they do at work. You have to keep evolving, you have to keep growing, or you, you stagnate. For me, what Mari means is a complete freedom. I can't really imagine any, any case when I'm, I couldn't rely on Mari, to be honest. We get freelancers into the studio and I'm like, oh, check Mari out, it's amazing. And they're always like, oh, I haven't used it. And I was like, well, why not? You know, even if you're a runner or something and you're coming out of uni, and you, you obviously need to acquire these skills to get into the, get up to the level that's required in the industry. So I think the non-commercial as aspect of it, I think, is, uh, I think is a fantastic idea and hopefully it'll open it up to a lot more people. And it is the kind of like industry standard texture software. It is, and uh, I know when I first used it, I was, it was so revelationary and I just was like, I'm never going to do any texture or anything else again.